Good morning, this is Monday, November the 14th, 2016. Reading from my utmost for his highest. Discovering Divine Designs. Genesis twenty-four twenty-seven. I being in the way, the Lord led me. We have to be so one with God that we do not continually need to ask for guidance. Sanctification means that we are made the children of God, and the natural life of a child is obedience until he wishes to be disobedient. Then instantly there is the intuitive jar. In the spiritual domain, the intuitive jar is the monition of the Spirit of God. When he gives the check, we have to stop at once and be renewed in the spirit of our mind in order to make out what God's will is. If we are born again of the Spirit of God, it is the abortion of piety to ask God to guide us here and there. The Lord led me. And on looking back, we see the presence of an amazing design which, if we are born of God, we will credit to God. We can all see God in exceptional things, but it requires the culture of spiritual discipline to see God in every detail. Never allow that the haphazard is anything less than God's appointed order, and be ready to discover the divine designs anywhere. Beware of making a fetish of consistency to your convictions instead of being devoted to God. I shall never do that. In all probability, you will have to if you are a saint. There never was a more inconsistent being on this earth than our Lord, but he was never inconsistent to his Father. The one consistency of the saint is not to a principle, but to the divine life, to Jesus, the life in us. It is the divine life which continually makes more and more discoveries about the divine mind. It is easier to be a fanatic than a faithful soul because there is something amazingly humbling, particularly to our religious conceit in being loyal to God. Wisdom from Oswald Chambers, The Highest Good, The Pilgrim's Songbook. The remarkable thing about fearing God is that when you fear God, you fear nothing else. Whereas if you do not fear God, you fear everything else. God Leads Us Along by George A. Young, 1903. In shady green pastures, so rich and so sweet, God leads his dear children along. Where the water's cool flow bays the weary one's feet, God leads his dear children along. Some through the waters, some through the flood, some through the fire, but all through the blood. Some through great sorrow, but God gives a song in the night season. And all the day long Sometimes on the mount Where the sun shines so bright God leads his dear children along Sometimes in the valley In darkest of night God leads his dear children along some through the waters, some through the flood, some through the fire, but all through the blood. Some through great sorrow, but God gives a song 
in the night season and all the day long. Though sorrows befall us and evils oppose, God leads his dear children along. Through grace we can conquer, defeat all our foes. God leads his dear children along. Some through the waters, some through the flood, some through the fire, but all through the blood. Some through great sorrow, but God gives a song in the night season and all the day long away from the mire and away from the clay god leads his dear children along away up in glory eternity's day God leads his dear children along. Some through the waters, some through the flood, some through the fire, but all through the blood. Some through great sorrow, but God gives a song in the night season and all the day long. Father, open our eyes that we may see glimpses of truth. Allow us to see that you are guiding us through this time, whether it be in shady green pastures, whether it be in dark valleys. But thank you that you are leading us away from the mire and away from the clay where we so often get off track. Father, let us go hand in hand with you and with each other on this journey today, proclaiming your kingdom, that your presence is here, bringing healing and hope to this world. In Jesus' mighty name, amen.